Hello everyone and welcome to my tutorial on how to set up the Gears TV app and the Mayfair TV Guide app. I highly recommend you follow this and install those apps before ordering service from CherryPieTV.com to make sure that you have no issues setting up these apps on your Fire Stick or any other device. You don't want to subscribe for the service and then have to troubleshoot and install the apps so just follow along it only take a few moments. This is for the Fire TV Stick. If you have another device, the steps are very similar. You might just have to change a few things depending on your device. And also, if you already have the Gears app installed, starting November 1st, 2018, they are updating it so you'll have to uninstall it and then reinstall the apps to make sure everything runs smoothly. Let's get started. First of all, this will be on your home screen. As soon as you set up your Fire TV Stick, if you don't see this screen, just press the home button to bring you here to get started. You see in the top, home is highlighted orange. On your remote, just press right a few times till you go all the way to the right to settings. Press down so you highlight notifications. Now go right to device. Click the middle button to select it. Go down to developer options. And you're going to want to turn ADB debugging on. You just click it once and it turns on. And then you go down to apps from unknown sources and click to turn that on also. So you click it once, a pop-up comes up just click turn on and now they both say on now from here press the home button to bring you back to the home screen now you can go left to the search icon or you can press and hold the voice button on your remote and say the word downloader but for simplicity I'll just type it in here so you type in downloader d o w n l o a d e r now if you see right here it's already kind of popped up some search suggestions so I can just scroll down to download or select it. It will be this orange square with the white background, the arrow pointing down, click it once. If you don't have it, it will give you an option to say install it or get it. I already have done it before so I just click download. Now for those of you who are new to the Fire Sticks, this app is free and the other apps to download are free. But if you've never downloaded anything to your Fire Stick, and you don't have a credit card tied to your Amazon account, you will have to have a credit card to download one app, even a free app. Once you download an app, you can then remove the credit card from your account, so you don't have to worry about accidentally charging things. Now from here, you can just click the Open button. Just hit OK there. Uh, now in the the middle part right there will already be highlighted so you just click it with your middle button brings up this menu to type in a website and you're gonna go to first of all targetcreates.com slash apk and I'll type it along here with you targetcreates period com now forward slash, to go to the forward slash, you go down from the M a couple times to the symbols, you click it, you go up twice, right once, that's forward slash there. Uh, don't worry about my screen, I'm using some video recording software and it's flashing back and forth what I was showing a few seconds before what's going on, so your screen shouldn't look like that. Now you go back down to the ABC icon, you click it to go back, I type in APK, and now you go down to the right where it says go and you click that just hit OK important message just hit OK now you use your little directional pad to use the red circle to highlight Gears TV APK click that to download it it's only 58 megabytes it should be very fast and just scroll down to you see cancel is highlighted gray and then you press right to go to install click install and just give it a few moments just wait for it to finish installing before we move on now also to remember when you're signing up for the service use all lowercase letters and only numbers for your username and password it will help solve a lot of issues you can't use capitals or special characters just use lowercase letters and numbers now you're done, press down the remote to select done. Now scroll to the right, choose delete. If you don't choose delete, not a big deal. You can always delete later. It's not uninstalling the app, it's only deleting the downloaded file. Now go 
from here, go press up on your boat to get to the top. Press up again to go back to the uh, top part where you can type in a URL. Click the middle button. Now you're going to uh, either hit the reverse arrow key on your on your um, stick, or you can just go down to delete here and delete. We're going to start over from the HTTP forward slash forward slash. Now you're going to type in Mayfair Guides with an S dot net slash APK. Now for those of you who do not have a Fire Stick, and you just want to use it like on a tablet or other Android box, you can use a web browser to do the same thing. You just have to go to your web browser and then choose the uh, website, type in the website here to download them. Also you just have to make sure you have to go into your, develop your device settings somewhere and choose um, developer options and allow unknown devices, unknown sources to install apps. So there you go. Mayfairguides.net slash APK and go down, choose go. It's very similar to the other one. You just use your arrow directional pad to highlight the mtvgp.apk here. That's MTV Guide Pro is what it stands for. It's very small also, should only take a few seconds. <clears throat> Just wait for the screen to pop up, scroll down till you see highlighted, cancel, go to the right, choose install. Now typically you can do other things while it's installing. You can press home or whatever and do other stuff, but I recommend not to do that. Sometimes it slows down the device. And it only takes about 10 or 20 seconds anyway, so just be patient, let it install. The Fire Sticks are not very fast devices. They're not as fast as say a high-end tablet or high-end smartphone. Now just scroll down, choose done. Same thing for, as before, select delete, delete it. It's going to say, are you sure? Yes, delete it. So you save a little bit of space. Now you can press the home button on your remote to go back to the home screen. Give it a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a few seconds to load. Go down a couple times till you see the section right here where it says your apps and games. Scroll all the way to the right. If you only have a couple apps, you might already see the apps on here. But if not, go all the way to the right to see all and then just look through the list for the two apps we just installed. So you'll see the Gears TV and the MTV Guide Pro. First launch the Gears TV, just highlight it and s click the middle button. And the first time you log in, you have to sh click accept. And you're going to also have to type in your username and password. Now, for those of you wondering, this is just a test account here. Just type in your account, go down to the bottom, choose next, type in your password. This this is just a test account, so don't try to copy this account and password because it won't exist when you try to. You're not going to get free TVs just for helping everyone know the video, that's all. When you're done here, go down till you see the blue air, the blue circle with the arrow kind of highlights a dark white circle. You see right here where the arrow is just, the cursor's blinking in the password, now press down and it highlights the arrow. Click the circle button to click next. And there's all your channels. Uh, this is for Gears. You can see a lot of choices here. It's not very user friendly. All you do is see a huge list of stuff. You have to scroll through it to make it easier. Now you press the home button again. We're going to use the other thing to make it easier. It gives you like a traditional TV guide. So as before, you're going to go down to your apps, go all the way to see all. If you don't see it on that screen, go to the bottom, find the guide, launch it, Click accept. It says, does your device have a touch screen? The Fire Stick does not, so we're going to choose no. If you install this on, say, a tablet that does have a touch screen, you would choose yes. And now you're going to type in your username and password. You should have the same username and password for the Mayfair Guide and Gears TV to make everything easier. If you order it from the CherryPieTV.com website, the username and password that you select will be the same for both services. Now it's here and you would go down where it's blinking for the password. Now you go down to you see OK's highlighted blue. Click it. Now it's going to ask you to sign into your oh excuse me, now it's asked do you want to enable the Gears T add-on. Make sure you click yes or click it. 
Now you type in the Gears account again. And one last time, this is just a test account and password, so don't use these. They will not work. I will have the different account and password after the video is uploaded. Just go down to OK, blue, click it. Now whenever you launch the app from now on, you just launch the TV Guide app. You won't have to launch the Gears app. This will be your home screen. You'll see all the channel listings. There you are. Press the home button, go back, and now your home screen should show right underneath recent apps, the two that you just launched. You can you don't again you don't have to use the gears one anymore, just use this one here, the MTV Guide Pro. From now on and it'll automatically load the service. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below. I'll try to answer them. And if you're interested in ordering Gears TV service, check out my website. I'll have it linked in the comments. That's cherrypietv.com. And also, subscribe to the channel. I'll have future videos showing some uh, tips and tutorials on how to use the guide and some of the extra features that are in there. Thanks for watching.